We'll guide you through how to add and use overlays in OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, just come into OBS and select a scene and then go to the bottom of sources and click on the plus button. And then what you want to do is choose what you want to add. So that could be like your computer screen or your webcam. So I'll use my webcam. So I'll click on capture device and I'll then select my webcam like so. I'll press OK and there it is. I'm just going to resize it like so. So now we want to go and add an overlay. To go and do that, all you want to do is go and open a web browser and you want to go to a website called overlays.uno. A big thank you to this site for sponsoring this video. They're a really cool site with so many awesome overlays which is super easy to use and we'll go over it now. First of all though, make sure you go and join their Discord server. It's a really cool community and you can go and make suggestions there. And also if you've got an Elgato Stream Deck, you've actually got a really cool plugin which you can go and get. You can see it here on the site, but I'll go and put the links required down below as well so you can go and check them out. Go to the top right of the site and click on sign up and create an account. And then what you want to do is come over to the left and select library. And you're going to see all of these different overlays you can go and add. If you're looking for something specific, you can search and you can also go and use the filters on the left here as well. In this case, let's say I want to have a social loop. I could click here like so and you can then go and sort of preview it here and then click on add to my overlays. And then all you need to do is come to your overlays. It should be taken here automatically. Come over to the bottom right and click on open and we can then go and customize it and go and edit it. As, as you can see, we've got all these different social medias we could go and add. And so then what we can do is go and start to fill this out. Of course, each overlay will be different and you can just go and customize them and you can also go and check out the settings as well. And so now to go and add this and use it in OBS, regardless of what the overlay is, just go to the top right and go and click on copy output URL. Now at the top here, you can actually go and copy the control URL. So maybe on another device like your phone, you can then go and continue editing it without having to sort of disrupt your stream on your computer. So in OBS, come into sources and click on the plus and go and click on browser. Press OK, you can name it what you want and come into URL and then all you need to do is go and remove what's currently here, right click and press paste. And you can then go and choose the size of this. So I just go and make it the same size as my canvas. For me, that's 2560 by 4240. For you though, it may be 1920 by 1080. Then go and press OK and you've now gone and added it. And as you can see, you can then see our socials starting to appear there. Of course, you can still go and resize it, but yeah, it's that simple. Um, and of course, you can get so many different overlays as I was showing you. There's news stickers, social media, loads of other awesome ones, but it's that simple. 